As society looks for new ways to treat mental distresses of all varieties, one doctor in particular, Dr. Sam Ivey, has found a most novel way to see if his patients are ready to be released. A work release program unlike any other has been put into motion, one that sees the good doctor, himself formerly a DJ, inviting the very inmates to run the show, give testimonies to screen phone calls, schedule interviews, and prove that they can handle a job, responsibilities, and all of that with temperance. Since the loony bin itself sits on top of hill, Dr. Sam I.B. has simply put up an antenna and, of course, with the internet, now not only can Canton, Ohio hear the progress being made, but so can the entire world. Welcome to the Looney Bin. That is correct. He speaks the truth on the matter you have found. The Looney Bin. I am Dr. Sam I.B. 102.5 FM Neopa Radio. This hour, we've got, talk about diversity. We've got Blaster Jacks, we've got Glenn Tipton, we've got Jazz Sabbath, we even have Testament. Dude, I love when you play Testament, but I'm like partial to the New Testament over the Old Testament, mainly because I'm not that good at slaughtering cattle. You know what, buddy? It's way, way too early in the show for me to even let you do this. What I am going to do is send this out to the people who are in the 90s rave chat room, uh, not chat room, um, group in Facebook. They like when I get to the techno electro stuff early, and even though this isn't all 90s by any stretch of the imagination, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get into it first, because they asked me to. Dude, does that mean you're going to play Testament? Buddy, may I ask you? Is Testament in any way to you electronic? Well, I don't know, man. Do you mean like the Old Testament or the New Testament? Just play the soap. He's an idiot. <laughs> oh, hot, hot. <laughs> Time for the soup. Custom DJ mix.
wiggle out wow wow wiggle out 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 wiggle out wow amounts of love it is this week's electronic set for everyone that there was interactive you know the name of that song is dildo but i don't think that you're allowed to say that you're allowed to say that i, I wouldn't you know and go out of my way yeah dude it's like that you're allowed to say dildo if you're especially if you're not telling people how to use it that you're only allowed to do that if it's like a drag queen and like they're teaching it to kids or something Otherwise, you can say dildo as long as you don't, like, overly draw attention to it, like, saying dildo, like, no reason at all. Ain't that right? Uh, yeah, buddy. Thanks. Uh, we heard uh, Blaster Jack's Hard Rave. Uh, we heard... What else was in that? Uh, My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult. Uh, the name of that song, of course, A Daisy Chain for Satan. 
Um, you know, that's because it's Holt single. And uh, according to me, uh, what I read, there's a writer named Samuel Deganji who said his life has gone so bad that if he could pick one song that would describe the way that he felt, it wouldn't even be the whole song. It would just be that scream at the end going over and over again. He said that's how he feels every day of his life. Well, I think this is a good show for him then. Um, a prodigy needs someone, the friction mix. Uh, that didn't get the credit that it should have gotten, mainly because the uh, singer committed suicide over his wife. And uh, then there was the shaman, make it mine, and of course the Utah Saints, something good. You want to know what else is good? The next track, isn't it? Yeah, man, I hope you're going to play Testament. Old or new? Dude, that's not even funny. Mm-hmm. 
Because it's amazing that is Glenn Tipton with Kill or Be Killed. The guitar great from Judas Priest. That's his solo CD. Uh, that CD didn't get the credit it deserved, but that's by far and away the best song on it. Uh, the Plasmatics before that with The Damned. Y you know, you played Wendy O. Williams there. She hung herself. Earlier you played Keith Flint from The Prodigy and he also hung himself. Well, you know, it is close to Valentine's Day, so I can understand kind of why he did it. Well, maybe I should play something a little different. Here's Jazz Sabbath with Fairies Wear Boots. Oh, that song's not at all about hanging yourself, man. That song's about drugs. I know what that song's about. I bet you do, buddy. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that you do. Yeah, but... Hey! Nah, man, <laughs> what do you mean by that?
of the watch. You know, I threw Buddy Puff a curveball there. How so? Well, Disciples of the Watch is a song from an Old Testament CD called The New Order, which might be one of the best start-to-finish CDs of any genre of any band in all of music history. But it's the newer version from their live CD uh, that I played. Oh, so it's like the Middle Testament, which also means I don't have to slaughter anything, right? Nobody, please don't slaughter anything. You know, that hasn't been done for a very long... Don't even bother. He's, he's, he's not going to get it. This here is The Stranger from Clan of Zymox. Actually, this here is Lord. They're coming to take me away. The next song is actually Stranger. You see, this, this we use as a talk bed. Oh, for crying... Don't you think I know that? Well, I'm just thinking you should... Don't
40 days won't break a man It was a bullet in his head Oh, oh
puppets to talk. Well, that's what you were just saying. And then, oh, look at that. We're live. Oh, for crying out loud. Friends, it's the Union Underground just ending there with bitter. Before that, the Union Underground because we made it a twin spin. That's why it was Revolution Man here on Neopa Radio 102.5 FM. The Looney Bin. I want to say, uh, not only were they greatly underrated, but uh, the Union Underground, prior to their basis going to Disturbed, I liked Union Underground better. And so did I. Well, at OzFest, they were only signing autographs for people who bought the CD. And I know somebody personally who uh, was waiting in that line, and the band uh, said, hey, you know, do me a favor. This person was saying, wait, don't leave. Because the line was very long, and one of the members of the band shouted over to buy a CD, and uh, this person started to rattle off the names of all of the songs on uh, Lesson in Rebellion, which is the CD that that's on. Not only the songs, but in the order of which they were, and needless to say, the uh, band went ahead and uh, waited for this person. Yo, you know, also, I think the coolest thing about him is that their basis went to the yeah, I said that. Oh, you know, the, the song also, Revolution, you know, he did talk about shooting himself. It seems to be like a theme of yours. Nah, man, the other ones hung themselves. Get your facts straight. <laughs> Back to happier days. There used to be a time when that when that band was in just about every skateboarding video you could possibly name. You mean you used to have better days? I don't remember you ever having good days at all. I said it was a long time ago. Fair enough. And friends, if you want to donate, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. All of the money you give to me is split 50-50 between myself and the Oprah Radio. Yeah, what do you do with the rest of it? Oh, my God. Friends, make sure you do donate through the correct views at Hotmail.com. You do it through PayPal. It helps keep doing it. It does take time to do these. And trust me, it is not easy to run a loony bin. Particularly this loony bin. Friends, Neopa Radio 102.5 FM. It still made sense to me, dude. I mean, with like Valentine's Day coming up. <laughs> 